Good evening everyone and welcome to our service with Watch It Baptist Church. My name is Jess and I'm going to be taking the service this evening. It is our last service of 2020 um, because next week uh, we will be in 2021 which hopefully is a good thing. I think this year was fairly unexpected, but it's really good to have you with us this evening and to be able to worship together. I'm just going to start this evening's service by reading from Psalm 95. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountains and peaks belong to him. The sea is his for he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Lord, we thank you that we can meet together virtually for this service this evening, that we can worship you together but from our own homes. Lord, we thank you for this day, for this season, for Christmas, for your birth and all that that represents. Lord, we thank you for all that you do be with us now, fill us with your spirit as we worship you this evening, in your precious name, Amen. We are now going to sing a couple of songs. The first one is We Stand and Lift Up Our Hands and the second song is From the Squalor of a Borrowed Stable. So if you'd like to join in wherever you are at home, that would be great. Thank 
Now we are going to have a time of prayer and hopefully most of you will have got the message on the prayer phone um, or maybe on the Facebook page. But you need either a gift tag um, or a bauble. So hopefully a gift tag maybe with a string on it or a loop on it or a bauble. One that you don't mind writing on. Um, hopefully you haven't all packed your trees away already. But if not, you might be able to grab a gift tag or just a piece of paper that you can put a hole in would work just as well. And you will need a pen um, that can either write on a bauble or on your gift tag. So I'll just give you a couple of seconds to get that if you haven't already got it. Now I thought we'd have a little think about something that we are thankful for today um, and this year, really. Um, and I thought that if we could write the things that we are thankful for on either your gift tag or on your bauble, then you can pop it on your tree if your tree's gonna stay up for another few days or the next week. Either you can hang your gift tag or your bauble back on your tree. Um, or if you're in the process of packing stuff away already, that's fine too. But maybe just pack the bauble away um, or the gift tag away with the thing that you are thankful for on it. Because I thought once we have written the thing that we are thankful for on our baubles or gift tags, they can go away with all of our Christmas decorations whenever we choose to pack those away. Um, or they can stay on our tree for a little while longer and remind us of that thing that we were thankful for. And then hopefully next year, 
when we unpack our Christmas decorations, we will have that gift tag or the bauble in with our decorations as a little reminder of something that we were thankful for this year. So I'll just give you a couple of minutes to do that. We'll put some music on um, and you can just have a think about something that you're thankful for that you want to be reminded of in maybe a year's time when you get all your decorations out again. And one of these two things are in there. So we'll just give you a few moments to do that now. going to pop my bauble back on the tree there and Lord we just lift up all of these prayers to you. Thank you that we have at least one thing to be thankful for this year. Amen. Now I did ask a few of you if anybody would be happy to send me a video of something that you are thankful for this year and um, we've had a few responses and so I have put them all together into a short video and you can watch that now. In 2020 I have been really grateful to live in Somerset where there's big fields and hills to get out onto any day you want to. Um, this year I've just been thankful for God's provision th through this kind of unsettling time um, and just to remind us that we need him um, and I guess he provides through our friends, for our family, through the people in the community um, but also through the opportunities that come across each day, week, um, work, home uh, with our relationships um, and that provision has just been um, abundance. Um, I'm reminded that at the beginning of our marriage we had a prayer that we were blessed and I definitely feel that this year we've, we've been blessed um, through an uncertain period. Um, so yeah. Hi. The two things that have kept me going through the whole of 2020, the two things I'm most grateful for are my two families, my children and my family bubble. I am so grateful that they've been with me and it's been so great to see my granddaughter. I keep in touch with my grandson via WhatsApp. And the other family, my church family, the people who've kept me... Um, going with all kinds of things this new online stuff that we do and zoom messages and prayer walking with my huddle group i am so grateful to everybody in that so thank you happy christmas everybody what are you what do you want to say thank you for
Daddy? You thankful for Daddy? Daddy's working. Daddy's working? No. No. Daddy back. Daddy back? You like when Daddy comes back from work? Yeah. Yeah. Amidst the challenges and all the restrictions of this year, I've been grateful for the creative moments and the opportunities to do things a little bit differently. Um, this year I'm really thankful for extra time with family that I wouldn't have had normally um, and that I am blessed enough to still have my job, which I love. Thank you to all those people that sent in a response. I'm so glad that we have things to be thankful for. Normally, most days we can find one thing to be grateful for, one thing to be thankful for. And so thank you to those of you who shared that with us this evening. We're going to sing again now. Receive our adoration. So again, if you'd like to join in with us at home, wherever you are, um, feel free to sit down or stand up however you feel comfortable. And let's sing Receive Our Adoration.
So I don't have just one reading this evening. Um, I've got a few different ones. They're all quite short, um, but they've all got a fairly similar theme. So the first one is taken from 1 Thessalonians um, chapter 5, verse 18, and it says this. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 6 says this. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And John 10, verse 10, Jesus says this. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. We all know this year has been harder and felt longer than most. I imagine that lots of us have at times found it really hard to find anything to be thankful for. Some of us will have lost people this year. For some, the uncertainty will have felt overwhelming. People may have struggled financially, socially, physically, with mental health or loneliness. But amidst all of this, we have Jesus. This is our final Sunday before we start 2021. We are on that Sunday between Christmas and New Year, where usually we would be in that little bubble of feeling excited or overwhelmed, tired or eager, either slightly less busy or slightly more busy than normal, depending on how we celebrate. There is that slightly odd lull of in-betweenness. The excitement of Christmas, just over, and the anticipation of a new year. Maybe some of us feel conflicted this year at how to feel this week. But... We have just celebrated Christmas. Maybe it wasn't how we had planned. Maybe our plans changed more than once. Maybe you were able to celebrate fairly similarly to normal. But it probably was a little different than other years. But we were able to celebrate Christmas because all of those years ago, a tiny and incredibly special baby was born and was going to change the world. And just two days ago, we were reminded of that. We were able to be reassured of God's promise of a son who came as a baby and grows into this extraordinary man who saves us. Lots of you have had children and all of us were children at some point. So two days after a mother has given birth, the excitement definitely hasn't disappeared. In fact, it's still at the very beginning. I'm sure Mary and Joseph were thankful that Jesus had arrived safely and perfectly into their lives. Thankful that they would have the joy of raising him and teaching him and learning from him. And we get to experience that too. Maybe in our own lives this week, we will be taking the time to thank those around us for their love, for their friendship, perhaps thanking them for the Christmas presents they have just given you. 
I know we will spend some time making thank you cards for those that blessed us with gifts. We are still in a season of reflecting and thanking. The Bible says in that passage from John 10.10 10, that we heard a moment ago, that Jesus came so that we could have life in all of its fullness. That may have been a bit of a challenge this year. Lots of stuff we are used to has been taken away or we've had to change and adapt our normal routines maybe aren't anywhere like what they were before. I wonder if this year, although it has been hard in many ways and different to what most of us will ever experience, I wonder if there's been more opportunity to be more like Jesus than there ever has before. God gives us opportunities. Now, I don't think that God sent the virus, but I do believe that he has used this time for each of us as we have been in our homes, whether we've still been at work or walking in his creation. Even when we can't feel it or even when God may have felt far away, he never stops working. Maybe there has been a chance for healing, both the world and ourselves. Maybe some of us still feel a bit broken and vulnerable, and that's okay too. Because God is still working. And amidst all of this, this I think we have seen the best parts of some people this year both Christians and non, all people, in fact. We have seen them reacting to the needs of others, being thankful for what they have and sharing everything they can with those who need it. Food banks have done amazing things this year. Individuals have left gifts with neighbours or checked in with neighbours. People have helped with shopping. Frontline staff have worked like crazy to keep us going this year. We have found new ways of doing things and spent time reaching out to those this year when if we're honest, if we were caught up in our normal lives and in the routine of everything that we do all the time, we might not have reached out to them. I think we have a lot to be thankful for this year. It may have been hard to see at times. I know I needed a reminder of this more than once this year. But we have just had this wonderful reminder again that we have Jesus, that perfect baby boy who grew up to be our saviour. So maybe we can hold on to that over the coming weeks, during whatever we face, and try to be just a little bit more like him as much as we can. We're going to hear a song now that talks of how blessings might come from unexpected places or through hardship. And I thought it was quite a fitting song and it will give us a few moments to reflect on this year and of what you've just heard. So take a little listen to this song. We pray for blessings, we pray for peace, 
comfort for family, protection while we sleep. We pray for healing, for prosperity. We pray for your mighty hand to ease our suffering. spoken need yet love is way too much to give us lesser things cause what if your blessings come through raindrops what if your healing comes through tears what if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know you're near of this life are your mercies in disguise we pray for wisdom your voice to hear and we cry in anger when we cannot feel you need we doubt your goodness, we doubt your love, as if every promise from your word is not enough. That was Blessings by Laura Story and I hope that it was a chance for you to reflect. Maybe there was something there um, that spoke to you, something that you are able to find meaning from or it was just a nice time of quiet listening to 
somebody else's words in the form of a song. We are going to sing again now our final two songs, Light of the World and Joy to the World. So if you'd like to uh, sit again or stand, if you'd like to, or you could sit for Light of the World and then stand up and belt out Joy to the World, it's completely up to you. But if you'd like to sing with us, we're going to sing those two songs now.
thank you so much for joining us this evening for this service. Um, I hope that something spoke to you. Um, it was great to all be together again. Uh, I don't suppose we were expecting to still be having online services at this point when we started them up in uh, Easter. Um, but there we go. We are very blessed to be able to still do church um, in any form in these weird times. I'm just going to pray now to finish. Our great and gracious God, as we come to the close of another year, we would indeed make it the prayer of our hearts that you would abide with us. We thank you that you have been with us through the days of the past year, even though it was not what any of us expected. Perhaps many a day we have not felt you near, Perhaps at times we have even felt that you have forsaken us and forgotten us. But we thank you that it has never been so. We thank you that you are constantly with your people and that you have enabled us to persevere in grace. You have comforted our hearts. You have heard our prayers. You have come so often to our aid. We pray that you will go with us into this new year. There is none of us who knows what the new year will hold, but we thank you that every moment of that year is in your hands and you will be with your people. We thank you that with the promise girding us, we can go forward with confidence and in your peace. We pray that you will help us to walk with you in this new year better than we have ever done before. Amen. Thank you for being with us this evening, for worshipping with us. Um, and as usual, we will have a couple of songs just playing so that you can chat with each other on the live chat if you'd like to. God bless.
It's weird. 